you've got to make sure that the uh, com part there is okay the baud rate is okay click connect it is a beta demo version make sure you go to paypal and make a donation up there this big button up there it loads in all the EPROM values and then you can save to the EPROM, read the EPROM, reset the factory defaults ah uh, no Z probe offset I'm sure I did have some values in here but probably read those off the EPROM I'll just show you that I can move down I think that is you might just see that the The th uh, threaded rod is turning there. Okay, let me do X form. So on the end stops there, it signifies in green that it's touching the X and the Y form end stops. I do not have max end stop buttons. This screen is a bit big for my liking, but this is the classic one here. If I'm, I'm going to do try and click on here. Now that has been clicked. Let's see how long it actually takes to move over. None of no, uh, anything I do here is not a complaint. It is to try and imp get the well, try and help you and get the software improved. Now I did have a lot of problems because one, my laptop is extremely slow, and what I've had to do just to get this to work at all, this software is re-index all the stuff there's a trick you can do by re-indexing everything and that helps speed up the computer and helps speed up this software now when this moves sometimes it's so quiet that unless you're watching it you won't notice it so i'm waffling on a bit here to try and fill in time but if you look closely on the display here you might notice that there's a bit of a blue like board around that to move right 10 okay that's the only way I know that that has been pressed I would have liked to have a bit more grayed out or try and highlight that a bit more because my eyesight is not the best anyway still hasn't moved and my touchpad is terrible so sometimes it's hard to know if it's been pressed or not I'm going to hit that again see I've hit it again Still hasn't moved. Now I don't know because sometimes I don't know if I found out if I I can do movements here apparently. See if I press that that will move to that position. See how quick that moves. Oh I have to set these values in here. It's why notice those are set to 50 because when I was doing the probe and the probe was coming off the bed, that is even though I did set some values in here, I did have some values in there. So far as I know it still has, I'm going to do X home just now. So go on there, see how these are off the bed, X home. And now it's gone on green, Y home. See that took a little bit of time there and now that's gone on green because it's touching the end stops. If I had maximum end stops I assume that would work as well. This screen is a little bit big, didn't need to be that big I don't think in my opinion. So everything I'm saying is not a criticism, it's to try and well help you get the software improved. Now this is extremely powerful this software, as you can tell I am new to this software. So let me go to the back corner, I can click on there, I'm not sure if I've clicked that, my touchpad is, and my laptop is dodgy, ah there it goes, see it's took a bit of time before it's moved so it's hard for me to know, that, it, that does have a blue border there, but it seems to be this options over here I'm going to try and click on to move right 10 degrees 10 degrees 10 millimeters here and it, 
it's done it pretty quick so now I've come off the end stops let me try and go back to the end stops it's not on the end stop so ah there we are see see how slow my computer is my laptop is here now as for the I do have a BL touch now, I would like to say that when you get the feedback I'll show you that just now is my nail bol bolts are on this bed under this bed here I don't know if you can see them the uh, this is the direction now the amount you're going to turn minutes etc which is shown on the display as well as the distance and the direction you're going to turn will depend on the threads of the, your board and how it's connected up so mine this is from above if I go like clockwise looking down it'll increase the bed height and move it closer to the nozzle okay that's mine so I would like to see a setting where I can change that in the software if it isn't already in the software I'm new to this software as I say I think I said sometimes when this does move it can move quite well slush and then it's so quiet that I don't realize it's moved I have to look back up notice I think I said this but I've had to put those settings in there because the probe was going off the bed when I did the probe the bed I'll show you the probe the bed just now okay what you're wanting to see is probe the bed now before I say about probing the bed I have deliberately adjusted this nail bolt here so that it is totally out of kilter and it was working okay until well reasonably okay <laughs> until I did that so this I think this side here is extremely low down and that side over there is up so when the probe is going over there it's sort of getting a false trigger let me click on probe the bed now let's go have to excuse all this because I am extremely limited to how much screen capture I can do at one time now let's see if it does it here sorry about it see see how it started flashing there like I'm gonna actually turn off the printer because I don't want it I think it does continue on okay even if I don't turn off the printer by the way but it's got the like warning so these directions here and the amounts are certainly in the minutes anyway will depend on the pitch and the diameter of your nail well your balls for adjusting so that setting would like to see that in the sort of configuration now there is a see I've got BL touch tick there because that's what I have I'm going to do reset alarm here and it stopped it flashing right I'm going to do change that nail bolt here to be a bit more higher now I know there is a setting in the software I'm sure I've seen a setting in the software where you can see like the height so I might have to increase the height that it's when it's touched down here to move over to say right this is 10 mil well over 10 millimeters I have I think it's set to here going down I need to possibly change that setting so that this is saying like more than 10 millimeters because this is over 10 millimeters higher than this side that's what I think so I'm going to adjust this nail nut just now I'll do that off camera and then we'll try that again I've changed the nail bolt here so I've raised this up to somewhere I think I'm only guessing I bought it gonna do probe the bed again as I say this is not a complaint no complaints here to try and get this software well maybe a few tweaks on it 
Now which when it goes right here, that we want to be watching this. See it's done the flashing again there. Actually I'm gonna leave this a bit see what see what happens here. So this even though I did raise this uh, yeah that's going up there. So this is if you click the PayPal button suggesting five dollars USD American dollars but please try and donate as much as you can this is extremely powerful software there's a massive amount of things under here scan the bill service PID extruder calibrations see so you can scan the surface calculations parameters from the EEPROM save to the EEPROM loading the EEPROM reset move about uh, there's just so many options here see you can view your end stops there right please 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 go on that paypal button and do a donation please 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 give the developer a donation okay so please go to that donation button and make a donation